Let's talk about this interesting and challenging geometric question. In an arbitrary triangle ABC, P is a point inside the ABC. Construct the point D on BC, E on AE, and F on AB such that PD is perpendicular to BC, PE is perpendicular to AC, and PF is perpendicular to AB. With this, we are asked to show two things. Number one, EF equals to AP sine A. Number two, the sum of distance from P to points A, B, and C is at least two of the distance from P to points D, E, and F. is not that difficult. First, we may join E and F. We look at the triangle AFE. We apply sine rule, then EF over sine A is equals to AF over sine E. This is what we want. We can also join AP. So from the triangle AFP, AF over AP, is equal to cosine of alpha cosine of alpha here uh, note that the points a f p and e are consecutive because this is 90 degree this is 90 degree the sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree we can draw a circle here and then we know that the angle FEP F -E is equal to the angle FAP, which we say that it is equal to alpha. So this is alpha. And since it's 90 degree, this is alpha. Therefore, the angle AEF is equal to 90 degree minus alpha. From what we have previously, AF over AP is cosine alpha. And therefore, AF is equal to AP cosine alpha. Then we look at this. EF over sine A equals to AF over sine E. AF itself is equal to AP cosine alpha over sine E. The angle E here is referred from the triangle AFE. AFE. So this is the so-called angle E and we already know that this angle E is actually AEF. AEF is 90 degree minus alpha. So sine of E is actually sine of 90 degree minus alpha and therefore sine of 90 degree minus alpha it is equal to cosine alpha and this is AP. Since EF over sine A equals to AP, then we have the result for part one. EF equals to AP sine A. So this is done. For part two, we are going to use the result from part one. And I'm going to erase this part. Second part is a little bit tricky. At first, I try to consider the triangle FEP, but then uh, I fail to get the answer. So right now, I will construct FG where FG is parallel to BC and EG is perpendicular to FG. So it is something like this. So call this is a G. Then we extend DP to H and H on FG. So extend this up to here so that this is equal to H. Okay, we consider FG. FG equals to FH plus HG. FG is here, whereas EF is the hypotenuse of the triangle FEG. So EF must be greater than or equal to FG. 
So this is a relation from part one and part two. And again, B, D, P, H are concyclic because these two are uh, 90 degree. Okay, so note that. If so, then we know that the sum of these two interior angles is 180 degree. And it means that and this angle F, P, H, it will be also equal to the angle D. So we consider this small triangle F, H, B. F, H over P, F will equal to sine of this angle F, P, H. And this is equal to sine D. And therefore, we have F, H equal to P, F sine B. For HG, HG is here. In order to see clearly, we will construct point P prime here so that these two are parallel. Then again, note that C, D, P, E are consecutive. So the angle H, P, E is equal to angle C. And this angle H, P, E is actually equal to this angle here. P, P prime G. P, P prime G. We consider this triangle G, H, P prime. So H, G over P prime G will be equal to sine P, P prime G. And it's equal to sine C. P prime G is actually equal to P, E. This is also equal to PE. And therefore, we have GH is equal to PE sine C. Now, we are going to make use of uh, the part one. AP sine A will be greater or equal to this expression. And therefore, AP is greater or equal to PF sine B over sine A plus PE sine C over sine A. Using the similar argument for this part and this part, then we we'll obtain BP will be greater than PF sine A over sine B plus PD sine C over sine B. Likewise, CP is greater than or equal to PD sine B over sine C plus PE sine A over sine C. The sum will be equal to PA, PB, and PC. It will be greater than or equal to for PE, this is sine C plus sine A. For PE, this is sine A plus sine C. So it will be PE sine A over sine C plus sine C over sine A. And using AMGN inequality, this will means that this is at least 2, and we have the rest. And therefore, this will be greater or equal to 2 of PE, likewise, 2 of PF, and 2 of PD. And the equality holds, if and only if, sine A equals to sine B equals to sine C. And in that case, you will see that FE is actually equal to FG. It can be equal when this is an equilateral triangle. And in that case, and this becomes centroid. And we know that when it is centroid, the ratio here is 2 to 1. And it goes align with this inequality. So this end of this problem. Hope that you enjoyed it. And see you again. Bye-bye. Thank you.